What's up, weirdos? We're back at it again. Today's a little bit different. We're gonna do it in a couple parts. Yeah. Because there's special ice cream that needs to be made, mm -hmm. special waffles that we, we're gonna make. Um, we're gonna make some blueberry waffles. <laughs> I like that pause there, sir. Well, you told me I wasn't allowed to call it a blue waffle, so. Yeah, you're not, because that's gross. And apparently I'm not allowed to look that up on the internet either. But no, I told him you could look it up. He didn't want to look it up. <laughs> We're gonna do the ice cream part now. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get that started. We're gonna have to let that chill for a while. Then we're gonna make the ice cream part and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna do the waffle part and then we're gonna eat a bunch of stuff and it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, so it's it's blueberry time. So get ready for some blueberries. Yeah. Hi. Oh, so what are we doing first? So uh, in order to make blueberry ice cream, we have to first puree the blueberries. Okay. So I have four cups of blueberries in here. The puree the blueberries and the blendy blendy. I'm gonna blendy it. Mmm. That's fun. I like how they turned out red even though they're blue. I know, cool, huh? Weird. And then we gotta go to the stove. To the stove? We're doing stove stuff. To the stove stuff. Let's do the stove stuff. Let's yeah. go. Well, that's it right there. That's it. So this is the zest of a lemon. Yes. Lemon juice. Yes. So this is a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Yes. What was that, lemon juice? That was the lemon juice. Mm. The, the lemon zest. And the shugu. Uh, let's see, it says to bring it to a boil first. So mix this. Mix it. I have to let it go to a boil and then it has to simmer after that for 15 minutes. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we got it to boil. Now what do we gotta do? Now it has to simmer for 15 minutes. Simmer for 15 minutes? Yes. Mm. And then once it's done, it has to cool in the refrigerator for about two hours before we can go to the next step. What you gonna So, <laughs> this has simmered for 15 minutes. Okay. So we're gonna take it off mm, and simmery good. Yeah, you know, we'll put it in this bowl. Now uh I suggest that if you do this, you choose a plastic bowl like this because this has to go in the fridge. And more than likely if you put it in a glass bowl like the ones we have over here, they will crack. Oh yeah. From hot to cold like that. Yeah. For sure. It's splashy. Uh, this is gonna go in the fridge now for two hours. Two hours. Two hours because then we have to put it in our cream mixture that's gonna make the ice cream. And obviously if you put this in there, it's just gonna cook the cream with nobody. All right. Boop. See you in two hours. Bye. Two hours later. Two hours later. Go to the garage fridges. Oh my gosh. What do you think also? Oh. Oh, that like almost solidified. It does look, yeah, it's solid. Wow. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna keep this here for now because we gotta do the cream part next. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need three cups of cream. Okay. That's two cups right there. I need one more. It's so thick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. And three cups. And now we just do what we normally do when we're making whipped cream and just get this into stiff beaks. Such stiff beaks. Such stiff beaks. <laughs> we're going. Yeah. We're going like first person view right now. Oh, imagine this is you making the stiff peaks. All right. 
So now I have to fold in a can of condensed milk. Okay. That's the sugar. I feel like some really good fold action. I mean, I don't know how much more foldy beautiful you could get. That also has to be folded in. Oh, oh, this is going to be scary. Ooh, 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 oh, oh my. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's turning like purple red. That's cool. Wow. Okay. How you feeling? I'm pretty excited. I wish I could eat this right now, honestly. Want to? And then this gets frozen. We're gonna freeze it overnight, and we'll see y'all back here in the morning for some blueberry waffles and ice cream. And ice cream, cause why not? Mm hmm. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, weirdos, we're back. It is the morning. The ice cream has chilled overnight and we are getting ready to make some waffles to put the ice cream under. So what do we got going on over here? Are these just egg whites? Egg whites and I have zero energy to do it by hand today. So <laughs> it's going into the ninja. That works. <laughs> I refuse. Ninja. So much faster than whisking by hand. I don't know why I even try to whisk it by hand anymore. What are we sifting? We got our all-purpose flour. Mmm. It looks real nice when you sift it. It's like, ooh. It's like, it's like snow. Yeah. Look at how pretty that is. One, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. Uh, uh. And then half a teaspoon of salt. Salt. It's so salty. Look at these pretty egg yolks. I separated them myself. Twins. They were not twins. Wow. They were two separate egg yolks. But I still separated them myself. Bean. As you should know by now, I don't like using regular milk, so this is almond, um, almond and coconut milk. Mm. Putting abused eggs in there because they've been beaten. They have been beaten. They've been beaten. Not only did we beat the egg yolks, but we beat the egg whites. We like separated them to beat them. Wow. Got that's real a, dark. That's really intense. All right. And now I have to fold in the blueberries. You know how I feel about folding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a cup of blueberries, by the way. All right. We're fold or folding. Things are being folded. And then the egg whites. Which I think still managed to need some blending, but we'll make it work. Okay. All right, so we have to add a cup and a half of blueberries. Okay. So there's that. And then half a cup of water. Someone go get some water. Half a cup of water. And then I need a quarter cup of sugar. Sugar. There. Is that butter? <laughs> Making some syrup. All right. So it says to uh, make a, a 
I believe they call this a slurry. Mmm. Is that for the blueberry stuff? Yeah, it's just cornstarch and water. It's supposed to help thicken it up so it's more like a syrup than just a sauce, you know? Ooh, that turned out good. Look at nice. that. Look at that color. That's pretty. It's camouflage right? almost, but with purple. I'm gonna do another one because that came out beautiful. Yeah, look See at that? that. Look at that. Ooh, that's the ice cream we made last night. Look at that. Blueberry ice cream. That's awesome. Let's see if I can do that. Oh my god. Did you see it just go in? Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right, while we're waiting for the next one to cook, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this one. Look at this with the blueberry on there. It's a real pretty uh, looking waffle. The ice cream, oh man. Right, you're first up. Oh, look at that tradition. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I won. I don't know how we decide the winner, but I win every time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Mm. Good? Ooh, the sauce is really good. And then Ooh. it's hard to tell like where the blueberries are coming from, whether it's the waffle or the sauce or the ice cream. Oh my God. But. The mix between warm and cold mm -hmm. is really good. I also like um the the, the tanginess of the blueberry. Mm -hmm. it, it's like sweet and tangy, and it mm -hmm. just has the greatest flavor to it. And that waffle is really good. I don't know if you can hear us over <laughs> this thing. Because this thing is loud. It's real loud. But but this is delicious. The waffle is so good. It almost reminds me. This would be a good one to French toast. Oh, okay. Because it tastes a little like what a churro tastes like if it's not fully cooked, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like it's kind of, it's like, if it just crisped up a little bit more, it would taste like, like a churro or something. I love the taste of like the homemade ice cream too. It's, it's very, very creamy and, and light and fluffy. Mm. Not like store-bought ice cream, it, it has like that I don't know, it's, it's just something different about it. It's not, you get store-bought ice cream out of that freezer, it, it's always kind of hard. This is not, it's very soft. It just, it, it's almost like a whipped cream, but frozen. That's probably because we do the whipping ahead mm -hmm. of time instead of like doing a churn in an ice cream machine because we don't have one of those. Yeah. So we make it work for us. And I actually think it's better because did you see how easily the ice cream scoop went into the ice cream? I prefer it over some of the store ice cream we're getting, mm. to be mm. That mixture with all three is like everything. Mm -hmm. That's really the best bite is when you get all ice three. cream, waffle, and syrup. It's not too much because the waffle itself minus the blueberries is kind of a more, I wouldn't even say savory, but it's definitely not as sweet of a waffle outside of the blueberries. So yeah. it helps combat any uber sweetness you got with the rest of it. I definitely like the uh, the thickness of the syrup too. Yeah. That, that definitely adds to it. That syrup's really good. Mm -hmm. That's that's the part I tasted first was the syrup. Yep. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. I think we did it again. Yes! This time, uh, -la -la. I'm like, -la -la. <laughs> this time I finally showed you all how to make the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So literally, you could do the same with any other type of, well, I don't know about any, but I would say like stick to berries probably yeah. is safe. So blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, 
You can do ice cream just like that. Yep. I think we're going to do a whole episode of just us making some ice cream, too. That would be fun. Until next time. Bye, bye. See you later, time. weirdos. As usual, I'm going to keep eating this. Walking through the stone.